Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have another Aaron here on my cask. It's an array Mary Moore. Mary Moore, what's that? Well, that's a moor in the middle of the west coast of Aaron and if you reach Aaron with the ferry to Broderick, then you just go through that valley to the west and then you pass the Mary Moore and the name uh, or the, the telling around this bottle is that there had been a king, well, Fingal called, and he uh, fixed his dog to a stone there, a dog named Bran, and therefore you see this dog here on the bottle. What's with the taste of the whiskey? Well, I think it's the moor in which the king fixed his dog. Um, the moor means there is peat in it, and if you burn the peat, then you have the smoke, and this makes the whiskey smoky. That's the story behind. Um, there's a, another story behind, which is more important. Aaron is a distillery which typically produces without smoke. That means that if you're producing smoky whiskey in the Aaron distillery, then uh, the smoke will manifest itself inside receivers, inside the Faints Reservoir, which will be recycled. So once you're producing smoky whiskey in a distillery, then everything stinks <laughs> from the smoke. So the typical way you work is you work all the year round without smoke, so without smoky barley. And then a few weeks before you go into revision and have some maintenance work going on in the distillery, then you switch to the peated malt and then you produce your peated whiskey. And with the last uh, run, the last batch of smoky uh, whiskey, then you stop everything and then you clean everything up, go into a maintenance and if you start again your work after that pause, then you're completely smoke-free again afterwards. So there's only a small amount of time in the year where they produce that smoky whiskey at Aaron. But this whiskey is quite asked by the people and islands with smoky whiskey are very famous among the Scotch whiskies, and therefore the people from Aaron, after 20 years of work, or 22 years of work, they invested in a second distillery in the very south of the island, near the town of Lag, L-A-G-G, -G. and this is quite opposite the Lorenza distilleries in the north, um, where the Aaron is produced at, and uh, there they will only produce peated whiskey. So now they divide between those two distilleries. I think they earned enough money to have that investment running and I wish them the very best to introduce a new peated whiskey single malt from a distillery, from a peated distillery on the market. Yeah, the Lag Distillery started production in April 2019, so it takes another three years until the first uh, single malt whiskey will be put into bottle, and until then we have to go with a Mary Moore. Yeah, a little smoke in it, and there's always the question how much smoke is in that bottle, and here <laughs> they write it on the back. They say uh, peating level 20 ppm. 20 ppm is medium. Uh, the very light ones have 8 to 10 ppm and the hefty ones have oh, 40, 50, up to 100 or even more. And from those 10 to 35, including 35, that's called medium peated. So this is just in the medium level. Those ppm values are not linear. So uh, if you put the double amount of PPMs into a whiskey, then it won't be double that smoky in your nose. The smell is weird. So there's some, some hay in it, some fermented hay, smoke, of course, and after that, a little bit of 
vanilla and fruits. Which fruits? No idea. Just a light fruity character. It's unchill filtered, uncolored, so this is a regular color. And there's no age statement on the bottle, so it might be three to four years old, probably five, no idea. Uh, but the color is saying, well, if those are first fill uh, ex bourbon casts, then it's three years. If they are second fill, then it's five years, six years. Perhaps a mixture in between, difficult to say. But the smoke is not too high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, the taste is incredibly intense. It's mouth-watering completely. A little maltiness, but most of it is citrus note, pineapple, a lot of fruitiness combining with the smoke intensity little spiciness from some wood, wonderful. And that's completely different to the smell. This aromatic hay note, probably moving over now to a martiness. And the tropical fruits are there. Yeah. So, ooh. And the smoke might be a little bit stinky, yeah if you smell it the right way. So there's a difference in the perception of the aromas from the distance you have the, the glass from your nose. Yeah. So one of the very few smoky whiskies there are on the market, not too intense, so it's not too hefty. The taste is incredible. The smell is different. And uh, there is a, uh, a cast strength Aaron Marie Moore on the market as well. Uh, that one is, is hefty as well. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come, as always.